I'm your host, Dr. Richard Lewis Miller. I'm an 85-year-old clinical psychologist. I want to talk today about words and meaning. Words convey meaning. One person makes a sound, or how are you today? Both of them are just sounds coming out of the mouth. But we have agreed over a period of time that certain sounds have certain meaning. And one of the difficulties that provides us with is that we have emotional reaction to certain words that have certain meaning, and that ends up affecting our health. And here's what I mean by that. When yoga came to this country, it was like, yoga, wow, what is that? And then there were all these images of what yoga was about. A guy half naked sitting up on a hill in the Himalayas with his eyes closed and all kinds of jokes about that. People sitting for endless hours in the lotus position until they got back injuries. A lot of stuff came with that. And, and so yoga got a bad rap. But what about this? I call yoga stretching. That's the American word for it. Nobody has a problem with stretching. We all know that stretching is good for the muscles. Otherwise, we have tight muscles and it feels terrible. This is true for many things, and we need to just be aware of it and, and, and learn from it. So another one of those words is meditation. Meditation, another thing that a guy does in a loincloth somewhere up in the, in the Himalayas with his eyes closed. The first one, we had these images of people doing these weird contortions up in the mountains, and now we have these images of odd-looking people sitting with their eyes closed doing this thing. But instead of meditation, suppose we call it mind clearing, or suppose we call it mind focusing, or suppose we call it mind control. I like to call it mind control, learning how to control our minds so that we control the mind rather than the mind being the boss. Today, I'm going to offer you a meditation or, shall we say, mind control exercise that I hope you'll enjoy. So sit down in a comfortable chair. This is not something you can do in a moving car, by the way. Yeah, you can't be in a car for this one unless it's parked. Okay, you sit down in a comfortable chair, close your eyes, and breathe from your abdomen. That's about where your belly button is. Just nice Easy breaths from the abdomen with your eyes closed. And now I'm going to ask you to fill your consciousness, your mind, whatever you call that inner being, that inner part of self, that tool. We call it the mind often. Fill it with golden light. Sort of picture sunlight, if you like, or some other source of golden light coming into your head and filling your head up. Keep doing that. Keep filling your head up with this beautiful golden light. Beautiful golden light. And now, let some of that golden light go down into your neck. So now your head has the golden light, and your neck is full of golden light. And now we're going to take that beautiful golden light. I'm going to do it with you. Oh, boy. And I'm going to take it down into my arms. So now I'm picturing in my mind an upside down Y. I've got orange, beautiful golden light on my head and down into my arms, down my neck in the middle. It's like a little tripod. And now I'm bringing the golden light down into my chest. Bring it down into your chest. And now bring it down into your stomach. Bring it down into your stomach. Keep going down into your stomach, down into your pelvic area. Let's go down the left leg now with the golden light. All the way down the left leg. I'm going down my left leg into my left foot. And now I'm coming back up to my pelvic groin area and going down my right leg into my right foot. And now in my mind's eye, I'm picturing my entire being filled with golden light, golden vibrating light. And let yourself feel the energy of this golden light. Let yourself feel the energy of this golden light. And imagine with me for a second that this is the golden light of love and your entire being is filled with love right now. Your entire being is filled with golden light. My entire being is being filled with golden light. And I'm calling it the light of love. And I hope you'll join me 
and call it the light of love that you're filled with. Call it the light of love that you're filled with and let yourself feel the vibrating energy and let this energy vibrate you and let this energy clear your channels and let this energy heal you and let this energy put a smile on your face. And now very slowly, let's open our eyes. Let's look around and let's continue to feel the golden light in our bodies vibrating. And that is a form of meditation. We're going to call it mind control because we controlled our minds, told it what it to do, told it what to do, and it did it for many of you. And you could feel the golden light and you could feel the love. I know that. I know that I did. And I do when I do the exercise. And now that exercise is yours. And it's for free. And you can do it the rest of your life. Anytime you want. As long as you're not in a moving car. This is Dr. Richard Lewis Miller reminding you that good health is worth fighting for. And it's essential for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.